Well, I recently had no problems with PS4 or Remote Play, where I couldn't use my Xbox controller. So I decided I would uh, look up the link for converting a PlayStation 4 input into an X I mean, for Xbox controller input to PS4 input. And I found a controller emulator called Vigem. And since I can't work PowerShell with a Darn, I have the K Band Edition. I'll just download this and extract it. Put it in its own folder on here. Downloads. Now, after I extracted it, it made an x64 and an x86 folder. Now, what I did after I followed the instructions on here for opening the control panel, just go control. Oh, my other. Oh, this is around there anyway. Okay. Control panel. Actually, you need to actually go to the device manager. You can do that just by right clicking on your start menu too. You go in device manager. Just click on anything. It doesn't really matter to me. Click on the um, action. And like you see, hardware. You know, this is important. I go into here and hit next. Install hardware that I manually select from the list. And you scroll this down until you find the system devices. And you hit next. And you say have disk. And then you go from there to hit browse and go to the folder where you extract by gem bus. Alright. I tried running the X, X at first I thought the X86 one wasn't working. But the only told me X64 is the one that's working on my system because I have a 64 bit windows. Use the um, 32 bit you got the 32 bit windows. Anyways after that you go OK. And it shows virtual game pad emulation bus and hit next. I already installed this one, so probably tell me just updating it. And I'll just say finish. And down here I should have most of the system devices. The bottom there is this virtual gamepad emulation bus. I really don't need two of them, so I'll uninstall one of them. Alright. But you only really need to have one of them on there. Once that's on there, then you need to download two other files. Um, they don't really tell you offhand on here on which ones they are. But as you can see, it says extract the files. Right click the device manager, just showing you that it's going on here. Add legacy hardware. That's basically what I showed you. But for full controller compatibility with any type of controller, I mean, I have one that's compatible with Xbox 360, but if you don't, you'll have to get, you'll have to download um, the uh, X360CE, which you can also link, also has a link to on Biogen from their documentation. I'll go to their, um, this is Biogen.org. There. You see, this is um, X360 CE to buy gem. This actually has two components you need. Now, if you have a, a regular Xbox PAL, you don't really need to install this one here, but I would get this one anyway, just in case you don't have a, a main Xbox panel. And then you'll, um, after you download the file, I'm going to run the X64 version here. When you first download, it asks you to generate an X input, and you'll just say yes, actually I can show you that right now, um, if I delete this and this, and launch this, I'm going to show you that generation thing, see it says X input 1.3 dill not found, Create. 
then they should automatically detect your controller. But you, you just leave search here and check and you hit next. And um, you should check and set your controller. And afterwards, you, your um, main controller, as long as this program is running, will behave just like an X, just like an Xbox panel, and you can ask controller test. And as you can see, I'm testing my controller right now. But as I said before, it is an Xbox paddle. So. But you want to leave that running after it does its initial setup. And then you have to get a, um, go back to here, a specific version of um, the BDX program. Even though it has a link for it here for PlayStation Remote Play, you should get the version at downloadsbygym.org other parlay. And basically, you go to downloadsbygym.org and choose other parlay. And here's this version here. This is the GPD Win Edition. That's the edition I extracted. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's the, the downloaded one. And there's um, BDX X64. That's the version I need to run. And then once you run that, then you go and change this to whatever control you want to actually emulate completely. And this is also while I'm still using this driver here. Alright? So, since I have a full 360 supported controller, I don't technically need to have this running. So, I can, so myself, I can go ahead and close it. But if you don't have a full 360, Xbox 360 compatible controller, then you want to leave this running. Alright? And then what you use after you choose this drop down, you choose the type of controller you want to hook up to the system. As I mean, I, it's my Xbox system, Xbox 360 controller, but I'm telling it it's going to be a DualShock 4 controller. And then you hit connect. You just heard that ping. That means it set that up to being the Xbox controller to a PS4 controller. And then I'm going to just go here to my remote play. And as you, as anybody would know, if it says it's not PS4 controller, it'll say it's not PS4 controller plugged in. But here it says I have a PS4 controller plugged in. All right, so I'm going to close that. I'm going to disconnect that just to show you that I'm not joking when it says that. I want you to plug in a PS4 controller and use PS4 remote play. You see, instead it tells me I have to plug in a pad, plug in the controller now. Right, but if I just use the um, input to buy, X input to buy gem, which is the which is the um, BDX X64, I can flip that around and go into my remote play. And as you can see, it's connecting to PS4, so it's actually going to behave itself. All right, that's it for that little demo there. All right. We have a nice day, and if you need this setup, uh, I'll make links in the video description. Okay, bye.